Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode. I'm your host the Millennial Investor and in today's video I have an announcement to make. Today is the day of Amazon Prime Day. Today is almost like the Black Friday but strictly for Amazon. Once a year for 48 hours Amazon will come out with some of the best deals in the entire year. From Amazon's own products to tech products to clothing to basic household items you name it. Amazon comes out with some of the best deals that you will see all year long and so what I wanted to talk about in this video is what all I bought today just just today uh, just in the last hour what all I bought to get prepared for what is going to be happening in the next month or so most of this video rather than focusing on stock market news or investing or the dividend companies that I'm buying I wanted to switch it up a little bit and this will be kind of a shorter probably a little bit more boring video if you're not caring about me or my channel if you're just here for the news this is probably not the channel for you we just have one piece of news I wanted to go over the dividend raise that realty income just announced but other than that guys we're gonna go over all the things that I bought in my YouTube channel that I will be posting on this video within the next month so stay tuned but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're not familiar with me my name is Jordan I'm a millennial investor. These are the 22 companies that I currently own. This is my annual and monthly dividend income tract, as well as my portfolio value and monthly YouTube income. These are my five investing goals for 2021, my 2021 stock market prediction. If you want to get signed up with M1 Finance, it is a $30 bonus to get signed up. Not $10, not $20, but $30. So sign up for that down below in the description to get the free platform and to take advantage of all the great features that M1 Finance has to offer. But hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's go ahead and start off with the first thing that I bought today on Amazon. And all these items that you're going to see in these videos are all going to be showcased on my channel. So the first one is, I bought a new computer. If you're watching this video right now, you guys, I, I, you've commented, I've listened. You said so many different things. Like the editing is not the best, or more importantly, the, the biggest one of all, you guys have talked about, hear this this sound my microphone it sucks it's the worst it's the worst thing ever it's actually not the microphone itself it's because I have a laptop that is so cheap that it doesn't actually process the audio correctly uh, like this one for example it's an Intel Core i7 I'm currently using a Core i3 now I don't know a whole lot about computers I'm sure a lot of you probably know way more about this than I do but pretty much across the board it's RAM it's gigabyte it's hard drive it's core i7 processor uh, all the stuff across the board is way better than what I'm using now I don't have the money or really I'm honestly just too frugal to go out and buy a two or three thousand dollar computer and I think that's probably a little bit unnecessary and this is around my price range I wanted to spend a thousand dollars or less but get one of the nicer things that I could afford and looking at the previous price of 1300 plus 1320 to be exact I picked it up today for 935 so 385 dollars on sale and of course you know me guys I don't like debt I bought it all for cash this is all cash I've had on the side and speaking of what speaking of cash on the side stay tuned because so much is going to be announced on this channel not just the YouTube equipment and not just seeing my face you guys are going to be surprised so that'll involve some of this cash that I have on the side but yeah I bought this computer in cash as well as all these other items but I'm really excited to have a computer that's actually one that's to be proud of because the one I have now is well not so great so next up we have a microphone this is the one that you guys talk about so much this bad boy that I'm touching that you guys do not like that I've had so many of you calling about talk about how bad the audio is I know I get it well, we finally have a decent microphone. This is a $300 microphone. It's the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Um, for some reason, I couldn't find the price. I think I actually bought the last one a couple hours ago. Uh, I actually ended up picking it up for, I believe it was $230 or $240. I know it usually goes around about $300, but this Rode microphone, from what I've seen, as far as basic microphones that do work with DSLR cameras like this photo you can see here, it's pretty much the best uh, microphone around as far as I can tell. There's obviously ones that are way better, but to get better audio than what you're going to get from this, you're usually going to have to spend five, six, seven, sometimes even a thousand dollars plus, which is a little bit unnecessary because I just make basic YouTube videos. I think that this will do just fine. And those of you that have been talking about forever, how my video has such bad audio quality, well now you'll at least have something decent and you'll also get to see my face while you do it um, lighting so I actually picked up a steal for these lighting for this lighting equipment but normally this is $200 plus I wanted some good lighting for the spare bedroom that I'm about to have because obviously well I want to have the room lit up I want to look good 
and this was over $200, but I picked it up today for $118. So I was already on the fence about buying this because I wanted lighting, but I didn't want to spend $200 plus. And then today they came out with a deal making it 44% off, so almost half the price, and then I knew that I had to do it. So I think this will provide some great lighting in my videos, make it look a lot brighter, a lot better when you guys do eventually see my face in the next month or so. So yeah, uh, the, that's the lighting that I got. Um, next up, we just have a desk. Nothing fancy, nothing special. I just wanted to get like an L-shaped desk because I was thinking about having like maybe where my mouse is on one side, have my uh, laptop on one side, and then on the other side have my camera on another. And also have angles shooting from like the camera down here so I can also like be pointing like that direction if that makes sense. But anyways, yeah, just a basic wooden desk for 90 bucks, and it's pretty large, 58-inch corner desk. Um, yeah, so pretty good desk there. Um, we have to have a Wall Street Bets poster. Um, one of the things I haven't showcased yet, there's another poster that I'm going to be buying and hanging up on my wall. I'm not showing it yet, and you'll see why. But, of course, I have to get the Wall Street Best poster, and this is the Miami Vice edition, the one that's always my favorite. Now, obviously, if you know me, I'm a conservative investor, I'm not messing with Wall Street bets, but, I mean, come on. If you've been investing any time during the last couple of years, how could you have not heard of or been a part of Wall Street bets? So, yeah, I ended up buying that. And uh, this is going to be hanging up on my wall. And it's 24 by 36, so it's 2 feet by 3 feet. Um, the camera. I did buy just a basic standard camera. Once again, I didn't want to break the bank. I didn't want to spend anything more than, say, five, six, seven hundred dollars $700. I really wanted to try to find something good around 500 bucks or less that was just pretty standard. That wasn't anything like super over the top and just kind of a waste of money. Because at, at some point, guys, on one hand, I love making YouTube videos, but I also have to think about my ROI. What is my return on my investment, you know? And so I've ended up finding a bundle deal with a Canon EOS Rebel, uh, Rebel T7, which is kind of a basic standard camera. It's a really popular one, and it has a lot of basic good features, as well as like some standard lenses, a lot of different type of options for filming, including like camera bags, different lens options, uh, double batteries, SD cards, and also a tripod as well, which looks pretty good. So I thought that that was a good deal, considering I got all of this, not just the camera itself, but all this big bundle, everything that is included here in this picture. Picture, all that for $540 I thought it was pretty good so that's a lot to get there and then last but not least I just wanted a basic standard gaming chair this is one that I found that was probably the best that I could find that was around $100 it was usually $170 today it was trading at $190 <laughs> well I love how I say trading I'm so used to the stock market yeah this the stock for this chair usually trades at $190 but the PE ratio went down you can buy the stock and the chair for $120 but this is the chair that I got just wanted a cool basic gaming chair um, I don't know guys. Uh, I just think it's kind of funny because I know you guys don't know me outside of stock market investing and just hear my voice of the YouTube channel. You've never really seen my face outside of my profile picture and I know you don't see me day to day. And that's one of the things I wanted to mention about these videos coming up in the next month or so. You're not only going to see my face. The videos are going to be much less about dividend investing and in the companies, but it's also going to be more about me. You will see me. You will see my fiance. You will see my attitude, my personality. You guys are going to see a lot more of that, and you're also going to see my body language, my smile, my uh, me chugging Mountain Dew every day like you'll probably see in every single video. I just spent $50 plus on Mountain Dew yesterday because they finally brought Baja Blast back. By the way, Oh my gosh, Baja Blast. I haven't had it in a can in forever. The Baja Blast in a can is so much better than the Baja Blast in a fountain drink at Taco Bell. So much better. So go out and buy some Baja Blast for two reasons. One, because it's amazing. And two, because I'm a Pepsi shareholder and I'm sure a lot of you are as well. And so we got to support our brand. So come on. But anyways, guys, last but not least, the only piece of news I wanted to go over today. Just really small, just wanted to mention it. Realty Income, my second largest holding, or tied for my second largest holding, raised their dividend a small amount of 0.2%, raised it up from 0.235 up to 0.2355, so a very small raise there, and that makes 111 increases in a row, 111 dividend increases. That is insane. But yeah, guys, stay tuned for the next month. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. 
feel free to sign up with them on finance if you haven't already by the way actually before we cut off i wanted to mention one more thing lately this past couple of weeks for the first time we're starting to see a tiny dip in the market even for my dividend portfolio a lot of my dividend stocks have finally started to turn down over the last week or so you see for the month we're down 88 dollars about 0.6 percent for the week we're down 1.78 percent or about 250 bucks even counting the dividends that we received and today was finally the first green day in in a while in the last couple of weeks that was really significant and we're hopefully going to see a downturn over these next couple of months i know we're in the very very baby stages uh, but I really think that probably sometime in the back half of 2021, sometime between now and the next six months, I would not be surprised whatsoever if we did see a small correction in the market. I'm not going to say a stock market crash. I'm not expecting a, a 20 or 25 or 35% decrease in the stock market. But I think a small correction is probably due. And honestly, at this point, I think it's healthy if we were to get that. Now, obviously, a lot of investors don't want to hear that. But as a dividend investor, it doesn't bother me one bit. And since I'm not retired, since I'm not withdrawing income off of this portfolio, in many, many ways, it is actually the better thing to happen. So I'm kind of rooting for it, and I'll keep you guys tuned. But once again, thank you guys for watching. Sign up down below, and I'll catch you guys next time.